egg spot. For this project, we'll need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a flat head screwdriver. Before we begin, I always remove the battery and AC adapter. Unscrew the two screws below the battery that hold down the power button cover to the base assembly. Unscrew the two screws that hold the display assembly to the base assembly. Loosen the three screws and remove the single retaining screw holding down the access door. Lift and remove the access door. Unscrew the wireless door cover. Lift and remove. Disconnect the antenna wires from the mini PCI wireless cards. And remove the antenna wires from the bottom routing channels. Flip the laptop over. Open the display assembly and flattening out as much as possible. Carefully lift the center control media button cover away from the base. You should start unsnapping it at the LCD display side, being very careful not to lift too fast as there is a cable attached. Remove the two screws holding down the keyboard. Gently lift the keyboard but be very cautious about the cable connected underneath the keyboard and to the motherboard latch. Carefully lift the cable latch and unhook the keyboard cable. Carefully slide the power button cover cable latch and remove the power button cover cable. Unsnap and remove the hinge covers. Disconnect the camera cable, LCD cable, and the wireless antenna wires from the upper routing channels. Remove the left and right hinge screws. Lift and remove the LCD assembly away from the base. Remove the seven screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base assembly. Unplug the touchpad ribbon cable. Lift the palm rest away from the base. Unplug the Bluetooth cable from the motherboard. Remove the single retaining screw holding the Bluetooth module to the bottom base assembly. Reseat the Bluetooth module. Secure the Bluetooth module with a single retaining screw. Plug the cable into the motherboard. Place the palm rest onto the base and snap down the edges.
Replace the seven screws that hold down the touchpad palm rest to the base. Connect the touchpad ribbon cable. Place the LCD display assembly onto the base assembly. Screw in the left and right hinge screws. Reroute the antenna wires, LCD display cable, and camera cable. Connect the camera cable and LCD display cable. Pull the antenna wires through the motherboard and remove it from the upper routing channels. Replace the display hinge covers. Place the power button cover cable into the connector and slide the cable latch over to secure the cable. Install the keyboard cable into the connector, press down on the latch. Lay the keyboard into the base and secure it with the two screws. Snap the power button cover to the base. Close and flip the laptop over. Replace the two hinge screws that hold down the display assembly to the base assembly. Reroute the antenna wires through the bottom routing channels. Connect them to the PCI wireless cards. Place the wireless access door cover. Tighten down the single retaining screw. Replace the bottom base access door cover. Tighten down the three screws and replace the single retaining screw. Replace the two screws under the battery that hold down the power button cover to the base assembly. Replace the battery. I hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.